Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another SPC card to review today. Now, I found out his name is actually Boetius, so that's what we're going to call him uh, for this review. I Google translated it with that little thing that he has on his E, so we definitely needed to check that out before I got crucified in the comment section. But ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a look at... Uh, a new SPC card. It's him and Diaby that are available right now for both of the SPC cards. If you guys haven't checked out the review for Diaby, be sure to do so. So with Boatius, guys, we are taking a look at someone that is five foot ten with medium high work rates, which is very very interesting to have in this game uh, for a cam position. Right footed with four star skill moves and a four star weak foot. In regards to traits, guys, he has the flare trait, which is. Sometimes a welcome inclusion, sometimes it isn't. In regards to attributes, he has 95 acceleration with 95 sprint speed, which is great. You don't necessarily need to improve that. He does have 99 attacking positioning, so that, with the medium-high work rates, is going to be very interesting to experiment with. He's got 88 finishing, 91 shot power, 93 long shots with 82 composure. So obviously, I'm also going to give this card a sniper chemistry style. So with Diaby, guys, uh, I failed to mention this in that review, but he would probably be best utilized with the marksman chemistry style just because the dribbling boosts are very similar. You just lose composure a little bit, which isn't really a big deal on that card. And then you would be giving him good shooting boosts as well as good physical boosts. So that could be uh, a more ideal chemistry style to give him, but obviously the composure boost is always a nice thing to have as well but with Boetius guys the shooting with the with the sniper chemistry style is now at a 99 for finishing and 91 for shot power with the four star weak foot so we're obviously going to experiment with that as well um, passing stats are good for base card stats you don't necessarily need to improve it which is perfect uh, dribbling stats so He's got 99 agility, which is fantastic. That, with the 5 foot 10 height, should be helpful. But boosting the balance, reactions, ball control, dribbling, and composure is what's going to signify whether or not this card is going to be very usable in game or if he's not going to be necessarily ideal. The medium high work rate is going to be a very interesting work rate to have because I kind of want to test him out on comeback on defense when he's playing in the center cam position. I'll even tell the other uh, left and uh, the left and right attacking mids to come back as well because I want to test that out with a card like this i want to see how aggressive he is coming back because he doesn't really have any defensive stats but maybe he would position himself better in a situation where i can counter attack and use him in the cam position to kind of utilize space a little bit better right so it's gonna be very interesting to try out but dribbling is something that we're gonna to have to experiment in game and see whether or not the height and the work rates affect it right uh in regards to physical he's got 75 strength which is okay i don't know what his body type is so we have to see what that's like in game but he does also have 99 stamina so 99 stamina is also very important on this card because of the medium high work rates with the comeback in the fence but also the 99 attacking positioning you know what this card could potentially make a really good player to use on the sides as well but i do want to experiment with him in the middle first and then we'll try him out on the sides it's a shame he doesn't have two, any of the two main traits in this game but it is what it is so this is the team that we are lined up with i just i wanted to go with a more of a fun concept with the bundesliga because i love just using this guy's team because of this um the way that we are going to be lined up with boetis in this team is going to look like this four two three one as we normally do but he will be playing in the cam position with ivan barisic off to the left gnabry off to the right with kamada playing in the striker position we're gonna have everybody to come back on defense just because i want to see what the balance is like um and then kamada we'll tell kamada to stay forward Actually, we'll tell Kamada to come back too because he actually has a defensive presence too. So they'll stop at a certain line because we're not using that crazy defensive tactic, right? They'll stop at a certain line. I just want to see how aggressive it is that they push back, right? So the medium high work rates should be very interesting to try out. Could be ideal actually to use him in a 3 5 2 setup where he's playing on the sides. Yes, he doesn't have defensive stats, but at least you can expect him to aggressively push back. But he also doesn't have defensive awareness. So, again, that's all the stuff that we have to see in game when we try him out. So, let's get into a game and see how he plays. Should be an interesting team to come up against, actually. Not loading up quickly, but. <laughs> Already aggressive in that situation, huh? Okay. Oh, I should be able to score those. It sucks. I I know that I have to do the ball roll touch right there, but 
I should be able to score that across goal, man. It's just, I, I took the extra touch and everything. It's just, uh, it's just so frustrating. Oh, I would have been able to get that with, if it wasn't for that interception right there with Ether Militao. Um, I am noticing, guys, that he's actually pretty aggressive on the attack. He's definitely choosing his runs really nicely. I don't think they're terrible runs. He is a type of cam that likes to push out wide more than he likes to be in the middle, which I'm definitely noticing a lot, like in that situation right there. Um, but it's definitely something that you can work off of with players moving this way right here. So Boatiz can do this, touch, get that finesse shot angle, potentially score. We don't. So uh, that's the type of stuff they're going to have to work with when using this card, which is completely fine. Um, we're going to keep uh, we're going to keep using him on the cam spot for now. Oh, I think he actually manual, I think he was using manual goalkeeping right there, actually, to the bottom side. Um, you can notice, let me see if he actually used it here. Okay, he did. So that's definitely food for thought for future shots that I take. Um, so you could definitely notice that his off-the-ball movement in the cam position is actually incredibly usable. He definitely utilizes the right space whenever I make those specific passes. So that's pretty solid. Uh, his dribbling is not crazy responsive, but it's definitely been improved with the sniper chemistry style for sure. Oh, we got that. Nice. We got that. Yeah, you could definitely tell that his dribbling is not super responsive, even with the sniper chemistry style. So it's definitely one of the low points of the card so far. But in regards to how he's moving off the ball, guys, he's doing a pretty solid job. Look at that defensive work rate with him. Medium high work rates with the comeback and defense actually being super noticeable right there. So he makes that run. What happens if we cut back to the side over here? Bam, he goes back into the middle. He starts playing Kamada's position because Kamada's playing out wide, which is perfectly fine. Just gonna have to play the ball a little bit slowly here. See how he pushes out to the sides? He likes to do that often. Oh, that was a good run right there, actually. It was a solid run. You have to kind of play off of that uh, that initial pass that I made with Witzel. And uh, I think he did a good job there, to be honest. Yeah, so far, guys, I have time thoughts. Uh, he, he's definitely very usable in the cam position. I actually really enjoy using him there. His dribbling is not necessarily crazy up to par in regards to really responsive gameplay. But... Uh, He's definitely very nice. I like that his uh, his movement isn't super generic and he actually utilizes middle spaces really quickly. I think personally, if you had better left and right attacking mids, I think Boetius uh, Boetius would play better off of uh, better left and right attacking mids personally because the way that these guys are moving is not necessarily ideal. Um, let's try him out on the sides now. I want to see if he does those like cut inside type of runs, even with the medium high work rates. Ah, oh, he's a runner, huh? He's a he's a type of dude that runs forward, I think. Let's see what's up when we start moving the players a certain way, if he starts to do it. A little bit of a cut inside there. Oh, he might be a 50-50 then. Let's see. All right, so let's just fix this really quickly. We'll just put him here. Gnabry off to the side. Kamada in the left side. And then Kimmich, or Kimish will be playing on just cover center with Witzel on stay back while attacking. These guys will be on balance here. And then these guys will just be stay central target man, stay central target man. Let's see how they play with that. We'll be trying for the next 25 minutes-ish. Because, you know, guys try hurting a little bit. So we'll see if we can pull the results back with the 4-4-2 formation. I knew he was using jockey assisted. Uh, jockey assisted? I, I don't know why people use jockey assisted. It is... Uh, you guys are crazy if you do, man. I, I, I have to use it on manual. Jockey assisted, it just it slows your players down, you know? Nice goal right there. At least, like I said, his off-the-ball movement is good, guys. Like, the way that he went into the middle position right there was actually really, really solid. It's just the playing out wides that I just don't like him too much in. So, so far, he plays well to the position he's meant to be played in, right? So...
All right, guys, so we're going to use him in the 4-2-3-1 setup again. Um, again, I am noticing that his dribbling is not necessarily being crazy. I do want to put the depth higher for this team just a little bit. Just have more of a bounce in the midfield because for some reason this guy's team just plays really weird in the midfield area. It's so open for some reason. It doesn't do that on my main account for um for ultimate team so yeah we're gonna go ahead and try him out in the cam position again we're gonna take off come back and defense we're just gonna have everybody on balance except for kamada on stay central so let's play with that see how it works and uh, go from there the reason why i wanted to play another game with him is because i i want to play like a regular game of fifa with him because obviously we're trying to like force the ball to him in a lot of situations where we probably shouldn't have and stuff because i would just want to see how he's moving across the pitch but so far strictly in the cam position uh he does at least have good off the ball movement it's not generic which is very very important and his medium high work rates doesn't seem to be affecting him in the attacking areas either which is solid a little bit of too aggressive right there on that run kind of like screwed it a little bit dribbling will make it work nice didn't register one of the things right there but we end up scoring that opportunity anyways nicely done um yeah his dribbling is off for sure it's not it's not necessarily the most responsive obviously with players in this game you want them to be as responsive as possible but like i said he's incredibly usable for the price range of the card i do think that both diaby and boetius are both cards that are not necessarily special in any ways but they're kind of concept cards where you do them because you want to have fun with the bundesliga team or you're just a fan of the team itself that they play for right i like the concept of these cards it's just the only problem with these cards being in this game in particular is that they don't fit the very linear meta in this game right like if you were to bring this card these cards out for FIFA 15, a lot of these cards would be incredibly usable, but because of the way that the game kind of works nowadays, um, they're not necessarily ideal to use, even sometimes for fun because of the way that the game plays out, right? But at least with both Diaby and Boetius, you could definitely use them in their own ways to make them usable in the game at the very least, right? But I used to use teams back in the day with like Team of the Season, Gradle, uh, Alexis Sanchez in the squad, like literally anybody that had dribbling and pace, um, because that's all you really require from those guys to be like good enough in game pretty much, right? But you can definitely find ways to make these guys usable for sure. That's the run right there. Nice. I won't get the... Oh! Oh my god. I was trying to get the ball roll there actually, but like I said, you could definitely notice his off-the-ball movement in the cam position being really good. Shot across goal first time. Nice shot. Nicely done. Okay. Nice. Ball roll touch. There it is. Nice goal. I love his movement, man. His movement is very solid. Nice. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Boetius card is that I like him more than Diaby personally in regards to both of the choices for my own play style. Doesn't necessarily mean that he's a better player than Diaby, but I just like that he moves off the ball really well because I think that's his saving grace on this card because if he didn't move well off the ball, he would be very generic as well. He still feels kind of generic just because the dribbling is not necessarily up to par. Even if you give him the sniper chemistry style, yes, you're boosting the dribbling as much as possible, but the base card stats will always feel the most relevant in games in regards to responsiveness, right? But giving him the sniper chemistry style with the shot power that he already has, giving him that plus five for composure boost as well as some of those dribbling stats is definitely incredible, incredibly helpful. His 99 attacking positioning with his medium high work rates was actually working really well. You can actually see that he was doing those cut inside runs whenever it made sense. He understood when he had to utilize certain space in the pitch, which is fantastic. It was just the dribbling that didn't feel super responsive, but not enough for me to hate this card and for this price to be disgustingly bad, right? He's still very, very good because that off the ball movement makes the price range very, very fair. Um, the medium high work rates for the defensive areas was also very nice as well. I wouldn't recommend using this cards on this uh, using this card on the sides. I think he's definitely best utilized in the middle positions, right? That, whether that's the uh, striker spot and two striker formation, or as a four two three one uh, playing as your center cam, those are probably the best 
uh, positions to play this card in just because I didn't really like the way that he was moving on the sides too much. He felt too much like a runner, you know, those guys that just run in a straight line. And obviously, I don't like uh, my players on the sides to always consistently do that. But I did feel like his movement in the middle uh, was significantly better. Again, a card like this constantly moving the 99 stamina is obviously very helpful if you want to tell him to come back in defense what i actually noticed is that in the second game when i actually took off the comeback in the fence on all the players it was really well balanced because uh, of his medium high work rates because he's still going to play to his characteristics of his work rates in regards to coming back so it was a really really good balance to have him with the left and right attacking mids position the way that they were in regards to attacking as well so um I think both of the cards are fair for price value and in-game value because they're not meta cards. You know, even the lower rated cards weren't that great as well. They were very generic. Um, but I think that for a concept design of the upgraded stats you give them, I think it's really cool. And the potential that they could be improved even more could be really nice. I hope he actually gets an upgrade because if they can boost his base dribbling stats a little bit more, um, I think it would be way better to have a card like this. But incredibly usable but the dribbling is still a little bit off in regards to super responsive gameplay hopefully you guys enjoyed both reviews today i will catch you guys tomorrow for the content peace out dudes love you guys